Kia ora and welcome to this video tutorial on the Gospel of Mark. We have two goals for today's lesson and the first is to identify the community and the historical background of the Gospel of Mark and secondly to identify the author of the Gospel of Mark. So let's get into it. The first readers of the Gospel of Mark encountered a really surprising story of Jesus. That was its value. It meant so much to them that it had been passed on to successive generations. As we will see, it first appeared around 70 AD, shortly after the letters of Paul, who was ex executed in 64 AD. Mark, who wrote the first gospel, a story of the good news of the ministry, death and resurrection of Jesus. This is the only thing that really matters, but that does not eliminate our curiosity. Something must be said about when this gospel was written, where it was written, and who wrote it. Now in Mark chapter 13, after the introduction, Jesus speaks to his disciples about the end of Jerusalem and the end of the world. He talks about the desolation of the temple of Jerusalem. These details actually all refer to events and what actually happened during the Jewish revolt against Rome in 70 AD. The readers of the Gospel of Mark were aware of what had happened in Jerusalem, or what was going to happen. Could this be the end of time? Could this be the coming of Jesus, they asked. Jesus tells his disciples, and Mark tells his readers, the good news must first be proclaimed to all nations. As you know in the Gospel of Mark, there will be an end time, and you can look at uh, verses 24, 37 uh, from chapter 13. We know that the gospel was written around 70 AD to instruct Christians to live bravely, giving witness to Jesus and preaching the gospel in between time. Now Mark chapter 13 also offers some detail of where it was written and first read and heard. There is an ancient tradition that links the gospel with Peter and Rome, but that is not likely. The first person who heard the story of Jesus would come close enough to know about the war that was occurring in Jerusalem. And they probably thought that this would be the end. They were probably from northern Palestine or southern Syria. They waited anxiously as the Jewish war drew to its inevitable end and wondered about the final coming of the Messiah. Let's have a look at who Mark actually was. So the title according to Mark was not found on the earliest scrolls and books that contained the gospel. But it was added very early and certainly was there by the end of the second century. From then on the story of Jesus has always been known as the gospel of Mark and we aren't actually certain of who Mark was. The tradition that associated the gospel with Peter Rome also mentions a Mark as a secretary or an interpreter for Peter. But this doesn't do justice to the proximity of the first readers and listeners to Israel and Jerusalem. However, a person named Mark may well have been the author. We've also got to think about that com uh, Mark was a really common name. Um, and it is, there is an unfortunate Mark in the early part of the story of Paul and the Acts of the Apostles. So if you head to Acts chapter 12 verses 24 to 25 and Acts chapter 15, 37 to 38, you'll be able to read about this unfortunate individual. So for us, whoever Mark was, was not an apostle. If the name Mark was attached to the gospel in the second century, it is more likely that the scribes who attached that name knew of a tradition of a man named Mark who might have wrote this gospel. We cannot be sure, but we will respect the tradition that reaches back to the second century and always speak of the author as Mark, whoever he might have been. So to finish, there's some really interesting facts to chew over around this gospel of Mark, considering that's the shortest. It's accepted that it was the first gospel to be written. And it's interesting that the gospel of Matthew uh, replicates a lot of the Gospel of Mark. So to finish with, let's go back to our learning goals. Can you identify the community and historical background of the Gospel of Mark? And finally, can you identify the author of Mark's Gospel and the information around this author? Thanks for watching.